Hey guys, how is it all going? So, as always, thank you so much for joining me for what is The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 5 Review. And as of all the other review guys, I will probably be talking about spoilers. So, as always, if you don't want spoilers, click off the video, watch the episode, then come back to me. If you don't care about spoilers, you're more than welcome to stay. So, I think I have said this at the start of every episode review. But I will say it again. This TV show is an absolute masterpiece. It's so good. <laughs> it really is so good. This is probably probably one of the best shows by the end of it I'll have ever seen. I'm really putting it out there. I, I really do. It, it just every episode just improves on the other one and just gets better and better and better. And it was already a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 from the first episode. So you won't be surprised to hear that so far episode 5 is my favourite episode. But I will guarantee you I will say the same thing about episode 6, episode 7, episode 8. So there is that. But what I really loved about this episode was is the fact that we get to meet and spend time with Henry and Sam in this episode. And I have to say the actors who played Henry and Sam, did an absolute fantastic job. Because their characters in the game are very important to the story and to the journey of Joel and Ellie. And I thought we would probably get a few more episodes with them. You know, I was quite surprised. You basically only get one episode with them. And unfortunately, if you've played the game, you know Henry and Sam's fate. It is heartbreaking, <laughs> to say the least. And... They nail it in this episode. What I love about the talent behind this series is they make you feel so much for characters in such a short space of time. And that is just fantastic, brilliant storytelling in my book. And they nail it with Henry and Sam in this episode. And what I really liked about this episode was when they meet up with Joel and Ellie <clears throat> and Henry has a way out of the city and obviously needs Joel's help. And I love the interactions between Sam and Ellie in this episode, because it was one of my favorite parts of the first game and the build and the bond together. And you can slowly see Joel, like that hardness, that wall is slowly getting chipped away by every episode. And I love seeing it because it's so similar to the character of the game, you know, <clears throat> and you can see him like warming up to Ellie more and warming up to it, other people and Pedro Pascal. Now, I'll say it in every episode Pedro Pascal, Bella Ramsey, or absolutely nail it. But Pedro Pascal in this episode, he, he's so very subtle. He says a thousand words with just a look, you know, or just like you can, you can just tell there's a lot going on. And that is just brilliant acting. It really is. And it also made me think this episode as well with Kathleen, who's chasing after Henry and trying to kill Henry, basically. How she's not really a bad person. Like, something really tragic has happened to her, happened to her brother, which Henry happened to be involved with. And Kathleen's brother died. And it made me think, like, not everybody in this world is bad it's just a lot of people are in pain. And it made me think, I would do anything to protect the people I love or offend the people I love, you know, whether that's right or wrong. And that's the same with a lot of people in this world of The Last of Us. They're not bad people. They've just had bad shit happen to them. And what would you do if you're in the same situation? You know, I would probably be classed as, a, as an evil bastard in that world. If someone hates someone I loved. You know. So I like how not everything is black and white. There's a lot of grey. But also I did enjoy Kathleen's death in this as well to be fair. So I made up and that vegan child clicker just jumped on it. And just started beating the living shit out of it. It was so satisfying. And that comes to like the main part of this episode. My god. How many infected and fucking clickers were coming out of that hole in the floor 
it was like a World War C on it. They were just piling over them. You just think, fuck that. And they just massacred everybody. <laughs> like, there's no way I would survive that. I would probably stand there just pissing myself, crying with the gun in my hand. Like, just, ah! But, oh, just seeing that was just epic. Absolutely epic. And then we saw the big boy, didn't he? The bloater came up and just started wreaking havoc. And I loved when he grabbed that fellow's head. And I can't remember his name in the show, but it's the guy that voices Tommy in the games. And just give him the death that the bloater gives you when he catches you in the game. And just grabbed him in his mouth and then just ripped his head off. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But then... If you play the game, guys, you, you know the fate of Henry and Sam. And it happens as it does in the game um, at the end of this episode. And it hit me. I am not going to lie. I cried again. This show is making me cry virtually every single episode. <laughs> it really hit me. And it was so well done. And th the guy that played, I can't remember the actor's name. I think it's Lamar. Johnson or Jackson, I think it is. I'm not too sure. But when he has to shoot Sam because Sam gets bitten and he, he gets infected. And you can just see just the pain and loss in his eyes in that moment. And like he can't deal with what's just happened. That he's just had to kill his young brother. And then he just turns the gun on himself and it's just a howling, heartbreaking scene. And it was in the game as well. I mean, it really hit me in the game. I was just like, wow. I had to pause, I had to pause it and put the pad down and just be like, that's a lot to take on board. Because you build a bond and relationship with these characters. And then when something tragic like that happens, you just... It does kind of rip your heart out and you're just like, fuck, like, I I just need to take a moment. And I felt the same way at the end of this episode. Like, it really nailed me. And I was just like, wow, I, God. And then the episode ended and the credits came on and I just gave it a slow clap. I'm just like, you're just impressing me every week and it just keeps getting better and better. And you wouldn't be surprised, guys, that Episode 5 is an absolute 5 out of 5. I think I've gave every episode a 5 out of 5, haven't I? I think I have, yeah. But I just cannot wait for episode 6 and see where this has taken us. And we've only got, what is it? We've got episode 6, episode 7, 8, 9 left. So we only got 4 episodes left. And as I know, and I, I do believe they are completing like the first game story. It's literally going to be done. So it's going to be interesting to see what they take on next and what's kind of going to differ from the game or whatever because I, I do think the choices they've made to change what happens in the games to the live action television series I think they've nailed it to be honest with you I've, I've liked every little change that they've made and they've also have been extremely faithful to a lot of moments that do happen in the game so as a, as a fan of the Last of Us game I'm, I'm ecstatic for this TV series. This is just, like I say, an absolute masterpiece. And I cannot wait for episode six. So guys, are you the same as me? Are you loving The Last of Us show? Or are you a big fan of the game? What did you think of episode five? What did you think when you first saw the bloater? Or anything to do with episode five? Let me know in the comments below, guys. It is absolutely always a pleasure hearing from you. And as always, please... Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you again real soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye now.